Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigal here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we're going to do a little bit of a past review. I'm two days late though, I don't usually do past reviews. Uh, but um, uh, we got the Deathstroke Pass and this might be something that some of you might want to grab. So that's why I wanted to take a brief look at it. First of all, we're going to talk about the character shards. Again, for buying this, I think you can buy it for... I don't know. I don't know how the currency are the currencies are doing, but I think it's a bit above ten dollars. Might actually be ten dollars. I don't know the price. It's up to you to judge if this is worth it. But there's something in here that's potentially worth like triple the price at the very least if you're gonna buy it through other means. Generally speaking, and that's that stroke. So again, I don't exactly know how this functions because even if I was to buy a pass, I have every single legendary character that they've put in the pass so far. But apparently how it works is that if you buy the pass, the specific legendary character you get from the pass specifically unlocks at two stars with the shards that you got here. Because I got mad that it's not even enough shards to unlock the character when I first saw the Raven pass. But apparently they made it so it unlocks with this amount of shards that you get here. Which is actually lower amount of shard than a gold character needs to unlock at two stars. But whatever. So you're gonna get the two star Deathstroke. Two stars is not great for most characters because you're gonna need your passive upgraded. But two stars with Deathstroke, you're at 90% of the efficiency of a uh, max class ascension Deathstroke to an extent because you only need one thing. You need the special two because the special two is going to do the percentage hull damage on Deathstroke and this is going to not depend on anything. Doesn't depend on your attack, doesn't depend on your health, doesn't depend on your star rating, doesn't depend on if you got gears or not at that point. So you actually do not need gears to run Deathstroke at all. I mean, obviously, as I say, with every single character where you don't need gears. I mean, if you're constantly dying, then that's a problem that gears could fix for you. But if you play it well, you're, you're gonna be fine without gears. I've been running for a very long time and no gears Deathstroke on my secondary account. And yeah, he dies from time to time, but it's for the most part fine. But yeah, this thing, you're gonna have access to the full potential of this, which is the only reason you get yourself a Deathstroke in the first place from two stars i mean if you class ascend him i guess you get to, to get this to a higher level but level 70 is more than enough the only thing that's gonna be somewhat of a difference like the buffs you don't care about at all uh, this is the thing that's gonna be a bit increased with the star rating but again it's not a huge deal and uh, with uh, the new talent system reroll which i didn't do uh yet on this account actually but you can actually get with relatively low effort a lot of Cretchens on the talents or I guess the defense if your Deathstroke is dying too fast. But yeah, you can get the Cretchens on the Garden talents and that way you don't need gears to even have access to that part of the passive. So you're going to be fine with no gears to a star guy and this guy can get all the way up to 1.3 billion damage versus a 2 billion health fights with Nora Snow Globe artifact and even without it it's going to be some good damage so Deathstroke is definitely a very good character for new players does so much for you at low investments now looking at the rest of the things that you're going to get here you're going to get some gems I'm, I'm only going to go over the things that are relevant I mean I don't care about the account energy too much I don't care about the credits too much gems it's 50 but hey it's gems this i don't really care about too much this is garbage artifact reforges are not that bad they could have put some uh, green ones in there your materials are garbage this is garbage oh wow you're gonna get 40 shards for a silver character not even a not even 160 man they're really going cheap on that some azure materials this is worthless this is the most worthless thing here uh some credits Oh, we get some uh, epic gear reforges. Those are fine. Energy tanks. I don't care about that. Talent reforges are fine. Gems are fine. Uh, stems. I don't care. You're gonna get a random artifact, and it's apparently gonna be. Um... It's apparently gonna be weird. Uh, this is. Yeah, they do add up to one hundred. Yeah, this sucks. This kind of sucks because I thought there was like a guaranteed to get artifact you would get from here but it's yet again some arcane artifacts absolutely devouring the chances here but yeah we're gonna get an artifact 1.6 percent chance to get beta club i guess but yeah really really messy thing they did with the azure artifacts in there epic artifact reforges this is great 
This is fine, I guess. This is also fine. 100 gems, that's fine. You're gonna get a 40... Bro, why 40 shards? Just, just give the people 160. Not the worst selection here, but it's 40 shards, man. Um, This is garbage, garbage, garbage. We're gonna get, yet again, epic artifact reforges. Those are great. Those are actually great. Um, Clash shards in here. Again, epic artifact reforges, bro. You're getting... No, those are epic gear reforges, my bad. Uh, but yeah, some Deathstroke shards, this is fine. A, a few more gems, a few prismatic shards, this is fine. Yet again, artifact with the, the, the same garbage odds that are pretty much eaten by the uh, free-to-get artifacts, which I really don't like. Uh, we got, again, some prismatic shards, some gems, some artifact reforges, some more gear reforges. And then there's this, like this in theory, you can endlessly grind if you have bought the pass. If you get all the way to the last reward and you keep playing the game like a madman, you, you keep getting them. And um, I don't know where it says exactly. It does say somewhere, but you're going to get um, points for a lot of things. Like, look. For arena, for champions arena, for soul raid battle, for league raid battle, you're gonna get uh, points for a lot of things, and you can eventually keep grinding this. I again have never bought it because I had no reason to buy any of them. Uh, but I don't know how hard or easy it is to grind this. Your results here vary. I mean, here down you're gonna get a very small amount of uh, soul raid materials, but I mean it's an amount of soul raid materials, so it's not that bad unless you get the Azure fragments and up there it's gonna be very very weird type of rewards I mean, I wouldn't mind the XP capsules too much or this too much Obviously, I want to get Deathstroke or at least some artifact reforges uh, But bro, it, I would be so mad to get credits or gear reforge or not gear reforges the um, Gear materials because the amounts bro who made this the amounts are so low like I'm gonna get mad regardless if I get credits out of this, but at least give me an amount of credits that doesn't make me feel that bad about it. Like, give me 500k at least, or a mil credits uh, each time, or 250 or something, but not 10,000 in this, too. Yeah, overall, there's a lot of decisions with this pass that I would have personally done better, but the amount of artifact reforges you get, and the fact that you're able to unlock a Deathstroke at two stars for a lot less than it would cost you to buy him at three stars from the shop i think this is a pretty damn good offer so yeah well having said thank you so much for watching like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and i'll see you on the next one goodbye